And how does it carve? How does a river carve through solid rock, and in this case, solid granite? The, um, the movement of water across rock does not do it. Water, the river needs tools, and the tools that the river uses to carve through rock are other rocks and sand grains and particles that it's carrying in its bed load. There's a beautiful example down here. They look like uh, sort of uh, a sculpture garden at the, the museum, but what they are is potholes, vertical potholes, where a rock gets in, a small rock, a tool, and it'll spin around because of the action of the current. And as it's spin, it abrades a circular feature and abrades it down. And that's the, that's the most efficient way, actually, for rivers to carve through solid rock is, is by potholing. We have a beautiful example of it right there. Every once in a while you catch the rocks in, in action. There, those were left, a few of those rocks are still in the bottom of the pothole that they helped to carve.